If you want to see what is in this box, then stick around. Hey y'all! So, I am going to do my first unboxing um, in a very long time. I think y'all can see just by the box what it is. It's a Vanderspeck! So, I have not seen it. I've only taken it out of the regular box. And so y'all are going to see this with me for the very first time. Here we go! Ooh, so All right, there it is. So, here. So this is for my Hobonichi five year. You can see it is in a palm. And I'm so excited. It is so beautiful. Let me turn this light on. That helps a little bit. There's a little bit of a extra shadow there. Not sure where that's coming from, but right there. We're pretty true to color. So, um, A6 size. This is a big, huge A4 clasp, which I really wanted because I just thought it would be cool. I did square corners and I heightened it just a teeny tiny bit. So here's, here's the part that makes me nervous. All right, let's check it out. So I heightened it so that I didn't have to cut this and it's perfect. Ooh, yay. Okay. Oh, and I did do the back pocket as well. So it is still a little on the big side. Um, but with that being said, I went back and forth on how much more space I wanted it to have here because it is for my five year, but if for some reason, you know, down the road, the five year and I don't get along anymore. I can still use it for regular A6 and I would have lots and lots of space for tabs. So it did, I like I said, I did widen it for the um, five year dust there. So I did widen it. Um, it's probably a little more than it needs to be still. So you can kind of see the extra space here, but it, you know, it will definitely a lot for chunking up. If I had a regular A6 in here and I chunked it up. So I will look up the specs for how much I, we decided to widen it and I will get back to you on that. Okay, part two of this video. So while I was doing the unboxing, life happened and everybody came in and it's tough for me to video now because um, the front door is literally right outside my room and the room is completely like open concept. So anytime somebody comes in and out, I have to either stop the video or cut it out or something. So anyway, so I just figured, um, I decided at that point that I was just going to go ahead and use this for a little while so that I could kind of give like a true review on what I think of this custom, what I might would have done, might would have, I'm not sure that's proper English, um, what I would have done differently. And um, so we'll just jump right into it. So as we said in the unboxing, this is a Parm 
um, parm, parme, not really sure how you say it. I'm going to say parm because that's easiest. I did ask for very smooth, which if you really look at the texture, it's pretty smooth. I have one other TM leather and this is Hortensa. And this one was a very smooth request as well. And you can see this one is pretty much the same kind of texture as this one. So with that being said, so using my um, five year Hobonichi for this one. So let's go through the specs just a little bit. So I did heighten this slightly and I did widen it. Now, here's the thing. Um, I can tell you how much I widened it, but I think it would be easier to take the book out. Let's do this. And here's why. Um, and I, I'm not saying this to to diss on Vanderspeck or anything. I'm saying this because things happen and I want to be sure that the numbers I'm giving you are the actual numbers. So with that being said, I have a ruler here and we'll, we'll measure it in centimeters. So this is obviously open. So in centimeters, it measures 28 and oh goodness it's like literally two millimeters or three two and a half to three millimeters under 29 okay let me look up the website really quick let me see I can do this on my iPad since I always film with my phone so this is kind of off the cuff here but let's take a look at the Vanderspeck site and figure out just, <laughs> y'all can see my history here. All right, let's see. Vanderspeck. My internet here is so bad, so bad. All right, hang on. Let's, maybe I can't, oh, darn. I was gonna switch, switch my internet, but I can't. So we just have to wait. Do, 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 okay. So it's not a touch me collection. It this would be technically considered a codex. So we're going to click on a codex. I think I did and it's just being slow. <clears throat> Goodness, I should have had my ducks in a row before we got started. But at least y'all can see what I complain about with my internet. <laughs> That I literally have to go into town so that I can show y'all my videos. I'm going to go ahead and pause this because this could make my video extremely longer. And I'll come back to you with the actual specs. Okay, so I have figured it out. So the height of the A6 codex, and this is the standard size, is 165 millimeters. The width is 110 millimeters and the depth is 25. Okay. So now let's look at it. So width is 110. So this is definitely a closed book um, measurement. So which is kind of tough for me to do. So I'm going to do a total and then we'll just cut it in half. Call it good. Okay. So a to our total was just under 29. So it's like 28 and 3 millimeters. Okay, so that's the opening. So that puts it, you know, around the 140 range for width, which basically means that I went 
30 millimeters more than the standard, um, which is probably not what it was supposed to be. I'm pretty sure that I told her I only wanted, I'd have to go back and look. But I know it wasn't 30 because I we went back and forth. And so that's probably why, and I'll show you, it's a lot bigger here than I had wanted. But it is what it is. And that's why I wanted to measure this because I was pretty sure it did not come in the size that I, I finally deliberated with to ask her. I was pretty sure it came bigger than I'd asked. So... Um, centimeter wise for the height of it, we're looking at <clears throat> 167 probably. Um, so that's literally just like a couple millimeters taller than their standard, which is what I wanted. I wanted it to be, I think 168 is what I asked for, which depending on how you measure this, you know, that's probably right where it needs to be. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm certainly not knocking them for not getting the width right. And here's why. With a custom, so many of us change our minds frequently. It's very rare that I get my whole, like, this is what I want into her, and I don't change my mind after that. So multiple emails get exchanged, and it's easy to miss the email that says, I only want this to be X amount of millimeters um, bigger than the standard. And the reason why I didn't want to go as big was because I just didn't want to have tons and tons of room here. So let's put the book back in and I'll show you. So with that being said, I guess my point is, is that it's, you know, kind of my own fault that it, it didn't, you know, come the size that I asked for in the end completely because <clears throat> had I just stuck to what I'd asked Petra for to begin with, then it probably wouldn't have had so much extra space here. So this is, I'm pretty sure, where I was at in the beginning when we first spoke. And then I saw somebody else's in the group and I was like, this is too much space. I don't want to go that big. So um I did email her back and asked her to cut it back some, you know, so that it wouldn't be quite as big. And maybe she did some, but there's still a lot there. And I do believe that it's similar to the size that we'd first discussed and not the size that we discussed in the end. But like I said, I'm blaming that more on myself than anything because the reality is it's just too much for them to try and keep track. And if it was any other business, they'd be like, nope, this is what you picked and that's what you get. So in hindsight, it really doesn't matter. Um, it just was like a, I'm making a custom and preference for me would be to have just a little bit less. Like say the pen loop, you know, say that that was more of the planner itself to just have that little bit because this is for a five year which I'm not putting tabs I'm not putting any of those other things in. at least I don't think I'm going to put tabs now that I say that maybe I will <laughs> but okay so how do I feel other than that about this planner as a whole let me tell you guys I really have been loving it so um, I love Parm anyway, and I had sold my personal wide that I had, so I was really missing the color. You'll hear my dog's tick and possibly my kids are coming in, so, um, so I, I did really miss the color. So I'm, I'm just super happy to have this leather back in my collection again. And I definitely did something different, um, with the A4 strap, you know, asking like to do this like really chunky strap on a small planner. Let me show you. So this is the A5 strap. 
So you can really see a difference. And how about, just because I, I know that somebody did ask me to compare them so that they could really have an idea of like, what are we talking here? Like how much chunkier are we talking? So this is where we're at with the strap. So that's, that's kind of like what you're looking at. I'll even measure it for y'all. Let's see. I'm not very good at this, but, um, so 35, six, seven. I mean, I'm probably off a little bit, but we're, we're looking at probably 37, 38 millimeters for the A5 size. And then the A4 is almost exactly at 50. So, you know, there's a good 12 to 13 millimeters more here than, you know, in the, in the A5. So I'll show that to you just side by side again. So yeah, maybe 10 or 11. I, I probably was off a little bit on that, but, but it's, it's up there. So it's, it's definitely a lot more of a substantial um, then the A5, which is what I was looking for. I really just kind of wanted to give this simple planner a different look by putting this just big fat chunky strap and I did the square corners. Now let's also compare and we're going to compare leathers to leathers here because it's only fair. So this is a TM leather. This is a TM leather. So, um, so let's just look at the corners really quick. And <clears throat> so the first, let me zoom so you can see a little bit better. So the first thing that you're going to notice is that the corners on the rounded side, which is their standard, is sort of, you know, bunched a little bit, folded down and sewn. So you can see that. The corners on the square corner is cut at an angle, oops, sorry, cut at an angle and then sewn. So you see that there. So definitely different as far as how they have to do it. So um, one of the concerns that people talked about with the square edges was that they would, let me zoom back out, that they would have issues with the the corners kind of folding in after use. I have to be fair, I feel like all of my planners do that, whether they're squared or they're um, rounded. So, and I'm going to compare this also to the Gilio so that you guys can see difference. Some banging there, sorry. So this is a Gilio, a Punto. So there you go. That's kind of the difference on that one. This is their top edge with the back pocket. And then it looks a little more similar here where it's angle cut and then folded over. So I do like that Vanderspeck uses a little bit more leather for their fold over. For me, I don't know. It just I, I just like that a little bit better better. Some people might disagree and say that they prefer less, but I prefer more. So I did the standard configuration. So the small front pocket, the five slots there's a slip pocket here and then the slip pocket here that you put your um, book into and then in the back there is a slip and a slip i did add the large back pocket someone asked why would you do that for a five year i did it in case for some reason i fall off with using the five year i can still use the cover with a regular a6 uh, uh, Hobonichi. And, you know, so for me, I thought that probably would be better to just 
keep the back pocket so that it's more functional for me. So overall, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I really, you know, I do prefer the, um, the smooth TM for the Parm because it comes off a lot more pink. The other one that I had that was a personal wide, and you can see one of my past videos there, it had definitely big pebbles and it really made it look more gray. And this to me what is what I would consider being very similar to the Gilio's Lotus color. I know it's probably off a little bit, but it's, in my opinion, it's close. It's pretty close. So I am enjoying it. I do love a big chunky strap. I absolutely adore it. I have another planner that I've gotten recently. I am going to do a video on. I got it from a lovely lady in the BST group. And it's a beautiful planner. Don't get me wrong. But the only thing I think I would really change about it is the stinky little strap. <laughs> I just, I love my thicker straps. So, um, yeah, so I, I, I will definitely continue to do whether the A5 or A4 strap because I just, I just like the look. Um, and you know, I can really show you like this is an A5 strap and this is the A5 strap. So it's just, it's more substantial and it just, I don't know. It looks nicer to me with the books. Um, this is my Miyakara, and you know, so you can kind of see my medium Miyakara has a pretty substantial strap here. It's not quite as big as the A4 size, but it kind of seems like it's between A5 and A4. So, um, and that's I think what draws me to this one so much is that it just has that big, beautiful, chunky strap. So that's that. If you guys have any other questions, please feel free to comment below and ask. Um, tried to be as comprehensive as I could so that you guys could really get an idea of this planner and the different things that I did for a custom just to help you. <laughs> My suggestion is, and I know it's difficult, but really deliberate on your custom for a long time just to be 100% sure that you get your numbers right so that you're only going to Petra once instead of, like me, multiple times and basically just confusing the poor woman. So um, doing it, you know, take your time and really get her your sizes and stuff that you want right the first time and then, you know, email her so that really then you know that you have a better chance of, of getting what you truly wanted. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next video. Bye.